Super cool. I like it. It's super cool. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today I welcome you to a new age of mechanics of mechs robots whatever you want to name it within build -Buck. guys today we are going to be checking out something a robot a droid might you say that has mechanics like no other guys by the way guys did you know that 71.5 percent of you guys are still not yet subscribed so please subscribe right now it would be super appreciated okay today we are here with the seal blocks and we are going to be checking out his bb8 mech guy mex guys i've checked out something similar to this in the past but guys there has been some changes made to the game that have made these things absolutely Absolutely beautiful guys the way they control just everything about these are absolutely beautiful creatures and i just i just want to show them off man so uh, which melon which one do you want do you want the bb black or the bb white be black bb black. Black. black i'll take i'll take bb white <laughs> uh let's see here um let me go take a i mean guys as you can see already there's all these crazy mechanics that i will actually explain in this video guys so if you want to know how to build this yourself some point in your life uh, you can actually check it out uh if you watch to the end of the video just letting you know but guys, as you guys see, I just set myself free. And uh, we already have quite a bit of interesting control. As you guys can see, the head and the bottom are moving separately. But what's even more interesting is how I can literally like start driving forward with the ball. And it's freely moving apart from the body. The, I, mean, it, I mean, the only way I can explain it is the word it's exactly like BB-8, of course. But seeing this within build a is crazy, guys. And the main reason that this is crazy is because these mechanics, like you are literally taking pretty much every single individual mechanic from like mechs or whatever it, whatever it is you might say and you're literally throwing it in a ball in a super clever way this thing is so cool melon how are you doing super cool i like it it's super cool oh yeah melon i'm coming your way all right melon i'm gonna rhyme into you i'm gonna see how this is gonna go okay melon stand still for me for a second okay will ya <laughs> Dude, i'm having such a hard time controlling this man i am not a god at controlling bb numbers okay melon come here i'm gonna smack you i'm rolling your way come on okay bro that was that was lame <laughs> That was late. Uh, dang it. Dang it. Well, Melon, you know what? We should see who has the better shot at making their way to the end and build a boat using one of these things because this thing is crazy. <laughs> Bro, these are like baby balls, man. This is crazy. This is so dope. Dude, these are hard to control as well. These are definitely not easy to control at all. Melon, I'm upside down. I've messed it up. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Oopsie. Here, Melon, let's, let's actually try racing to the end here using this thing because this thing is actually so cool. Guys, can I just say, what is the most interesting? thing about all this guys how i mean sure he's made bb8 and uh the other bb number i don't remember but uh guys there are so many other cool uses for this mechanic guys imagine building a giant mech putting three of these balls underneath of his feet and just rolling wherever the heck it is you want to roll how cool does that sound that doesn't my god that sounds so cool oh my god melon i'm in the stage melon where even are you oh my god you're still are you still flopping around like a dead fish melon i don't know it's so hot my god melon how could you you know it actually feels very very resemblant of the Star Wars movies because I remember this thing being pretty silly. <laughs> here, Melon, you know what? I think I'm not getting... I'm, I'm really not having a good time getting my way to the end here. So I'm actually going to reset character and I'm going to ask you, Asil, can you reload? And this time, let me try on the black one because I'm really, really, really curious to see how that one controls because I don't know if it's just Melon being a little bit of an idiot or uh, or if it's something to do with, uh, you know, it being different. <laughs> what is this? Poor, <laughs> poor man's B... Poor man's BB-8. Dude, do you have the old pumpkin? Damn. I, I don't see people often that have the old pumpkin. Respect. That's dope. That thing is so goofy. All right, here. Let's get inside of this thing and let's see. All right. I'm inside. All right. Let me get myself unanchored from this thing. And we are once again... Melon, this thing controls 10 times better than the other one. What are you on with? Dude, that one's harder to control, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Melon, you're not even controlling it. <laughs> controlling the white one. Wait. Yeah, control it. Look. Melon, you are not. Melon, I see you're standing behind a tree somewhere. You are not controlling this thing. Melon, you know what? Melon, I challenge you, Melon, specifically to a 1v1 fight. Okay? I want to fight you to the death, brother. Oh, you want it? BB-8 okay. versus Darth Vader looking BB-8. <laughs> I don't know what he's called. <laughs> oh, my God. I've placed enough cannons and I've actually broken it. Okay, Melon, you can only have two cannons or the whole thing thing break maybe just one <laughs> i've actually messed it up i don't know what i've messed up though hey, Melon, i don't even care that i've absolutely ruined this thing and it's completely broken i will still kill you <laughs> look i put the cannon Melon. 
<laughs> Melon, I'm gonna rip your face off. I hope you know that. I, I didn't do anything. Literally nothing happened. Oh my god! Why does no why does nothing happen? And I absolutely get my face <laughs> smashed in. Bro, bro, I am still alive. This thing is not broken. I don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, this thing is ruined. Uh, is it though? I might have a chance. I might have a chance of recovery. <laughs> Actually, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> BB-8 is okay. Dude, I just got smashed. That was horrible. I want to cry, man. <laughs> oh, I died. Don't cry, Jesse. I will cry too. Okay, my friend. I will not cry. It's okay. All right, guys. I've sent the private server link out to more people now. So that way, maybe we have a bit of a better chance of actually fighting some fools. Because uh, that's what I really want to do here, you know? <laughs> I want to kill some people. You know what I'm saying? Let me add a couple of additions right here. That should allow me to add a little bit more uh, cannons and stuff to it. All right, I should now be able to add a little bit. Uh, add a little bit more cannons and stuff to the whole thing. <laughs> oh, Melo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Melo, Melo. You can actually control the control the, the cannons. Okay, okay, okay. Let's stand still for one second so I can play some cannons. All right, Melon, here we go. <laughs> Dude, even adding one cannon, Melon, makes this whole thing crazy. You know what, Melo? Maybe no cannon. <laughs> yeah, Melo, you might just have to use your hand cannon, okay? Let's find... Oh, my God. There's Creeper. Ah, oh, man. Ah. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. People are loading in. Is that... Dude! Is that from Star Wars? That is so... Dude, that is so from Star Wars. Dude, this could not be better or worse. I don't know which one of the two it is. Melon, you know what to do. You know what to do, Melon. <laughs> Melon, you just shot ourselves. <laughs> Melon, you ne nearly killed us. What are you doing? <laughs> dude, I can't believe someone actually loaded in a bunch of Star Wars stuff. That is so sick. Hey, why is so Melon, it's hard to shoot because it's hard to drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Dude, we are already being attacked by creepers and stuff. This is horrible. Oh, no, creeper. Dude, we are getting smashed. Thank you, actually, for helping us out and getting us back to the safe land. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. We are still being attacked by all of this stuff. This is insane, man. Here. <laughs> I just want the Star Wars. Star Wars, man. Fight me, bro. Do it. I dare you. I'll smash your face in. I'll t I'm telling you. I'll kill you like I will kill Martin. Martin, stand still. Boop. How did he not die? Creeper. Come here, brother. Dude, this guy this guy on the black team is actually just setting up like the Death Star. What? I don't even know. Dude, is that the Death... Dude, am I sounding really dumb right now? Is that the Death Star? Or is that like the Millennium Falcon? The big one? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that's the Death Star. <laughs> oh my god, man! Creeper came in! Melon, it's okay. I am still alive. I will do this for the two of us, okay? Okay, there is still more TNT coming our way, Melon. This is not good. Melon, abort mission, abort mission. Oh my god, did the other thing get smashed in as well? No, Melon, we have to take the other one. <laughs> Quick. Creeper OP. All right, Melon, we're back in business. Yeah, that's more like it. Come here, Millennium Falcon. What is that? Okay, and Seal, you gotta help us out here or everyone is gonna make us out for an idiot on the internet, okay? We will literally be cyberbullied if you don't help us here. <laughs> what is that thing? No, wait, that is the Millennium Falcon. That thing right there. It's not Millennium Falcon. It's the circle. I no, Mel know. Millennium Falcon is not the circle. I know. Let me search. Is it? I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, no. Melon, Google, quick! Yeah, it's not Millennial Falcon. Wait, that's <laughs> the Millennial Falcon. <laughs> Dude, uh, this is a hot, a stinky planet. garbage uh, mess, man. Uh, this is so bad. I think Conqueror, you know. Oh, yeah, what? It's that star. It's that star. It, it, this is the it, Death Star? Okay, okay, okay. It, I think. I hope. I hope so, too. Baby, it brother dead. Melon, why aren't you shooting the giant van of millions and millions and billions of TNT? Come on, shoot it. Yeah, I'm yes! That felt good. Come on, please explode. Yeah, that's more like it. Boop! Bye! Bro, the guy on the black team literally just crashed or something. <laughs> we need to kill the creeper. Melon, the creeper oh, no. is going to kill us if we don't be careful. He is literally trying to race into us, and I don't like any part of it. <laughs> As I say that. <laughs> As I say that, bro, Creeper kind of came in a little bit hot, man. I ain't even gonna lie. A little bit stinky, a little bit hot. Well, Melon, you know what I think we should do? <laughs> I think we should show people how to actually build yourself one of these mechs. So, Seal and Melon, can you come to the pink team for me real quick? I'm gonna turn on isolation mode real quick and PvP mode off. So, I can show you guys how you can actually build this for yourself, guys. Because it's not nearly as complicated as you might think it is. It looks really complicated. It's not that bad, okay? Let me show you. All right, Seal, load it in, man. Oh, my God. God. Why is there another giant thing <laughs> that I've done a video about recently? But this is a new one, different one. <laughs> I don't know if they're all the same, to be honest. I'm all right, guys, here we go. Them. Let's dissect these things and show you guys how you can actually build one of these things for yourself. Because honestly, it's going to shock you how like understandable it is and like how not weird and stuff it is. All right, guys. So we pretty much just have uh, a BB-8 right here with the ball removed, guys. If you don't know how to make a ball within the, the new recent building update, honestly, it's really simple. Okay, just, just to explain explain 
And if you don't already know how to make yourself a ball, all you have to do is set it to rotate five and then movement 0.2. So you place a block then you do tilt two times and then you just connect the two together like so. And then you keep doing that. And actually having match rotation helps. As you guys can see, there you go. And then you can just go into every other side block and do the same thing pretty much. I've done a video about this in the past, guys. It is really pretty straightforward. What we are most interested in is this mechanic right here. So apparently he's actually gone out of his way to look inside of like real schematics of like how these things were created in real life. And uh, he's like pretty much built that inside of build which is super interesting. Like I've not really seen anyone do that kind of process yet, which is kind of cool. So guys, for the tutorial's sake right here, I've built myself half a circle just so I can show you guys how to build this. So it's actually so, so interesting, guys. So pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to grab yourself two wheels, okay? Just like so. And you want to connect those together. Boom, boom. As you guys can see, it should look a little bit something like this. Just if you do it like that, isn't it spin in the middle, not the outside? That's right, Melon. Now that you say it. <laughs> 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 you know, guys, do not do that. Build yourself a, a block and a half out like this <laughs> and place the wheel on the inside. <laughs> Don't be an idiot like Jesse, okay? <laughs> okay. Thanks for thanks for showing me, Melon. That was so dumb. Boom and boom, okay? Boom, boom. There you go. So that they're facing outwards. <laughs> then, guys, all we have to do is we have to connect these two together, obviously. Yoink. And then pretty much, guys, we're going to just add a couple of blocks right here in the middle just to make sure all right guys so then we're gonna go to the bottom right here we're gonna grab an absolute center block just like this and we're pretty much gonna make this just about long enough to kind of stick out a little bit on both ends like so little something like that should do then right here guys we're pretty much just gonna place ourselves uh, our controllable chair which is gonna be for all of our wheels and then right here guys we're actually gonna place ourselves a servo just a little something like so then we want to place a block on top of the servo and on top of that servo we want to place ourselves a piston guys so because the way the new pistons work okay we can pretty much, uh, like, they just, they're, like, solid, okay? Once you've ex extended them, it's pretty much, like, solid blocks. It's super useful for this sort of thing. So, pretty much what will happen right here, guys, is that this will spin, and uh, the piece on top will kind of spin loosely from it. It's not gonna be connected to it all. And then, guys, most importantly is that you just have to make sure that the top piece and the bottom piece are not connected, and that the top piece is only connected to the piston. Of course, I'm not gonna make the whole BB-8, because otherwise it'd be 10 years later, because this thing is a pretty, pretty difficult project, of course. Then, guys, all we're gonna have to do next up is we can grab ourselves either either a ice, uh, what do you call it? An ice uh, boat motor or even just a regular boat motor, just like so. And we're going to place that right behind the chair. Then guys, we're actually going to go down a little bit. And this guys, this is the most important and also in my opinion, the most interesting part. So we're going to go down a little bit like so. And right down here, using the skill tool, we are pretty much going to make ourselves multiple layers of gold that is actually going to kind of be hidden underneath of the whole thing. Like so, to pretty much balance out the weight guys. Pretty much the reason this thing can freely move, and I'm trying to not to put I'm trying to not butcher this explanation right here. The reason this thing can freely move is because the bottom is weighed down. So pretty much the ball is spinning, but because there is so much weight down here at the bottom, it always wants to be grounded, if that makes sense. The gravity is pulling it down all the time. And the way you're going to expand this, of course, is you're going to place another golden block and we're going to do the same thing over and over again, where we pretty much just scale it down inside of the other thing, like so. And then we're going to pretty much just keep doing the exact same thing that we've done before. And you might just have to do this like four times, five times, maybe even 10 times. It really depends on how big you're building but you should be able to just add more gold or more metal or just more heavy blocks as you need more heavy blocks, so to say. All right, so guys, almost all of the default connections right here that you see are actually almost right. The only thing that you want to make sure is that you re that you relink is you, you got to make sure that the piston is actually pretty much useless. So let's just set this to some really random keys. So just like left brackets and right brackets, keys that we will never use, okay? So pretty much, guys, when we shift the weight, guys, so the weight, the top weight can get shifted with the servo right here which makes it lean left or makes it lean right. Then just generally speaking, the wheels, they will make it drive forward or backwards. Then the actual boat motor, it gives it a little bit of left and right as well, just to help with the steering. As you guys can see, it does that and also does forward and backwards. So hypothetically speaking, if we ready up the water right now, we should have ourselves a really, 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 really broken mech um, in theory. <laughs> All right, ready. All right, ready up the water. Let's just see how bad this thing works. Guys, keep in mind, I haven't made the full ball or anything. So it's, it's a really bad explanation. But yeah, guys, as you guys can see, we can shift the weight freely and we can also <laughs> we can also drive forward <laughs> You got to make the whole ball yourself, okay? I'm not doing it today, <laughs> but... 
This is the stupidest mech I have ever seen. <laughs> but as you guys can see, you kind of get the idea of pretty much the weight of the actual thing. I mean, it's pretty much forcing it to always be like, like upright. As you guys can see, we are still upright and we're, we're like tearing left, tearing right. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and uh, pretty much if you built this thing without the steering abilities, you can just use it like a wheel and it's actually really cool. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is so dumb. I see you missed the leg. <laughs> Huh? What did I miss? The ear in the tat. The head with two hands. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it looks so dumb. <laughs> All right, guys. But with that, we're going to end off today's video, guys. If you haven't already liked the video, I want to give a massive shout out to a seal right here because this is actually by far the most understandable mechanic for a BB-8 or any sort of other like robot ball mechanic that I've ever seen before. I want to see this in a bunch more mechs and I want to see this in a bunch of other different designs. So guys, please, <coughs> if you have one, send it over to me. I don't know how. Use Discord or something, okay? Guys, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Peace out, everyone. And bye-bye. Bye-bye.